In this Photoshop tutorial, let's take a look at how to add noise here in Photoshop. So there's actually a noise filter. I'm going to show you the different settings we can apply to our layers. I have a photo opened here. In my layers panel, that photo was just opened in Photoshop. So the first thing I want to do, unlock the photo, right click on it, convert to smart object. This allows me to apply filters to it non-destructively, so it doesn't burn them into the photo. Instead, it gives me the opportunity to change that filter later if I want. So we've got this layer selected down here. We're going to go up to Filter, down to Noise, which has its own category. We have a few different options here. I'm just going to show you Add Noise. This is the one that I use the most. Now you can see a preview here of where it's adding the noise. If you click on it, it doesn't show the preview anymore. If you let go, it shows the preview of the noise. You can still press Command or Control plus and minus to zoom in to your actual document, and you can click and drag to kind of zoom around here. Now we have a few options. First, I want to check preview, just so I can see it in my document. We have distribution, which would be Gaussian or uniform. You can select whichever one of these you like better than the other. We also have a monochromatic checkbox. If we do not select monochromatic, and we increase this amount so that we can see it. You'll see there's actually some color in the noise. If we check monochromatic, that noise is just going to be black and white. No matter if you're on uniform or Gaussian, uncheck, there's gonna be some color to it. Check it, it'll be black and white. You can kind of see the difference between uniform and Gaussian. Whichever one you feel like looks the best with whatever you're trying to do with your document. Now, this amount Obviously, you can push it way further than it needs to go. So if we bring this way, way back, we can start to see where the noise is being added and how it's being added in our document. I'm going to increase it a little bit more just so you guys can see it on this video because I know the video can be small. I think a lot of times I probably like to go with the Gaussian monochromatic with the noise amount down, definitely lower than what we had it there. Um, it doesn't take much to add a little bit of noise and a little bit of detail to your document here. So I can click OK, and that applies that smart filter to our layer. As you can see, we have the noise uh, layer or smart filter applied here in this little drop down toggle. And we can double click on that to go back and edit that noise. So, like I said before, it's a non destructive way to edit because we created a smart, uh, smart object where we could apply these smart filters. Any filter we apply will be still down here editable. So you can see now that we've added some noise to this document and actually I'll zoom in instead of out. And you can see how much different it is. You can turn on and off smart filters to see the difference between the noise and the no noise. Adding noise, one quick tip, adding noise like that to a gradient is really helpful to get rid of banding. Um, and I think that it just adds a little bit of texture to your document, uh, especially if you're working with very flat imagery. That's how you can add noise here in Photoshop.